What is up XRP community? Welcome back to another video. I want to talk to you about how an XRP breakout could be as close as two to seven days away from looking at the chart. The Supreme Court sides with Ripple. I'm going to tell you why I say that. A great back and forth between John Deaton and the head of the CFTC or former head, Charles Gasparino. Let's hop right into it, guys. First off, we have this tweet from Brad Garlinghouse. He says it's only Tuesday, but it's shaping up to be a not so great week for the SEC. And he Quote tweets, Stuart Alderati, the head Ripple lawyer. And if you guys use Twitter, give me a follow on Twitter. I have a link in the video description below. I love engaging with you guys. And if you want me to cover any specific stories, information, the best thing to do is just tweet it at me. He says, yesterday's opinion from the court on Ripple and the SEC's proposed expert opinions. If you didn't read all 57 pages, we ain't got time for that. Here's the TLDR. Specifically, not only is the SEC's expert on reasonable expectations of an XRP purchaser struck from the record, but so is the expert who tried to say what caused the price of XRP to change. They're throwing out these SEC experts. On the flip side, our experts that explain how Ripple's contracts clearly differ from those in the Howey test, tax treatment of XRP, accounting treatment of XRP, and currency exer experts on XRP are allowed to stay in. So this is massive for Ripple. The SEC's experts are struck down, and Ripple's experts are not. As we have said throughout, we have always felt confident about our case, and with each ruling even more so. As always, guys, I give away $10 in XRP on the channel every day. To enter the giveaway, like the video, subscribe, and notifications on, and comment anything in the YouTube comments below. The winner is in the video description below. If you guys need a spot to buy XRP, I recommend Uphold. It's sleek, it's simple, it's secure. It's my go-to exchange where I buy XRP every single day. A link to Uphold in the video description below. Okay, guys, so another tweet from Brad Garlinghouse. He recently had a visit in Washington, D.C., and he said some thoughts on last week's visit. I'm stating the obvious, but the crypto industry at large in the U.S. needs to rebuild trust through both utility and transparency due to FTX, Terra Luna, all these cryptocurrency companies that have gone down with investor funds. A focus on utility is obviously the future. And if you've been doing any amount of research on XRP, I'm sure you found the massive utility it has. So why do I say the Supreme Court ruling backs XRP? So um, basically the due process clause of the U.S. Constitution requires that individuals be given fair notice of which actions are prohibited by law. For Ripple, the fair notice defense goes like this. It couldn't have known to register XRP with the SEC as the agency had never provided enough clarity. Basically, you need to give a heads up. You need to give laws and regulations. You can't just go after people with enforcement. So the U.S. had made a case against a Romanian immigrant who with 270 bank accounts broke the law when he filed when he failed to file a relevant report with regulators for each bank account. US authorities demanded he pay a $10,000 Bank Secrecy Act fine for each one, while the Supreme Court ruled he only had to pay one. They said Bittner did not learn of this reporting obligation until returning to the US many years later. After he returned, he filed the recent the required reports, but not in time to avoid violations. In Bittner's case, the Supreme Court found that the fair notice defense had not been given, specifically to the point that it would demand the individual fines on each undisclosed bank account. Drawing supposed parallels between Bittner and Ripple executives, Ripple Labs counsel says Bittner's recent ruling is analogous to its fight against the SEC. So while the SEC is not ruling directly on the Ripple lawsuit, a big thing in the legal world is precedent. What has happened in the past? How are these laws upholded or upheld? Or how are these laws not respected? In this case, the fair notice defense is backed up by the Supreme Court and Ripple could win by summary judgment or the fair notice defense. XRP breakout could begin any day. So here we have the XRP Bitcoin chart. When you measure XRP against Bitcoin, it goes to show the relative price performance of the asset compared to Bitcoin. In this case, we had a mega breakout back in October, and ever since then, we've been in this descending wedge. And it's looking like within the next two to seven days, we could see an XRP breakout. And this is coming on the tail of the news that the summary judgment, right? We heard this from the head Ripple lawyer. Summary judgment could be any day now. So it's really fitting that the price chart also is reflecting any day we could be seeing a bullish ruling 
on the XRP lawsuit. Ripple CEO says the SEC has no infrastructure for required tokens. This is an article on this tweet I just read at the beginning, so I'm not even. I'm just going to go ahead and skip past that. So now for this back and forth between John Deaton and Charles Gasparino, the former head of the CFTC. Very interesting stuff here. Really quick, guys, if you want $41 guaranteed, sign up with Webull, deposit a penny. You can get up to $3,000 in free stocks. Now, typically, you're just going to get $40 to $300, but it's a great offer just for signing up, depositing a penny. You're guaranteed a minimum stock value of $40. Sell your stocks, close your account, do whatever you want, but don't miss out on this great offer. It does end soon. Link in the video description below. Now, take a listen to this. Securities. Now, after a lengthy battle, a district judge may be close to announcing a decision, the outcome of which will impact the entire crypto industry. Joining me now is lawyer John Deaton, who's closely involved in the case, and our own Charlie Gasparino. And you two have had many conversations on there. I've been back to some. <laughs> yes, about um, you're still with us. I mean, in terms of the case. Yes, I did. So, so, explain to you, you were, uh, you're, you're on the side of the Ripple shareholders, right? You're advising Ripple? Is, do I have No, a... I'm uh, for the XRP holders. I'm sorry, yes. The that's individual right. retail holders. We have 75,000 plus. I'm going to get a lot of crap. For that, saying, that's for okay. Sure. Uh, but <laughs> Amicus Curi, the, right. the judge, I filed a motion to intervene. The judge said, well, I'm not going to let you become a defendant. With right. those 70,000 people, but you can be amicus curiae, you can participate. And the SEC tried to get you kicked off. They fought us at the beginning, and then they tried, they filed motions, and, they, and they, they tried to kick me off. And, and you're still here. Lost. And okay. we got a good victory last night. <laughs> okay, so victory last night was the judge basically said, um, you know, I'm here some, you, you could have these uh, expert witnesses. Uh, SEC could have these expert witnesses. But what he really did was saying, off the checklist is the expert witness decision. The next decision could be summary judgment, correct? Which means he might, she might rule from the bench, either in favor of Ripple or the SEC. Absolutely, Charlie. Um, the This was a Daubert motion. Ripple has 10 expert witnesses and the SEC has five. Both sides challenged their experts in saying they should be excluded. The victory we got was there was an expert the SEC was offering who was going to testify as to what XRP holders thought in their head when they purchased XRP. Mm. Of course, he never interviewed one single XRP holder in his entire career. Yes, this guy has ESP. Huh? And he received a $3 million <laughs> contract from guess who? The SEC oh, nice. to serve as a witness. And so the judge excluded that part of his testimony that he's not going to be allowed. To your point, though, um, some people believed that the decision on Daubert motions on expert witnesses could come down simultaneously with the summary judgment motion. So I tweeted out yesterday that I wouldn't be surprised if we get a decision in day now or within a couple and of weeks. And let's be real clear here. If the SEC wins, says, and they, they, they hold Ripple liable for selling XRP, which was an unregistered security, big thing, that means just about every crypto, except for maybe Bitcoin, and maybe even Bitcoin, is could be considered a security, correct? Well, I mean, Gensler's come out and said that right. Bitcoin is the only one he's comfortable saying is a commodity, right? Right. So I think you can take Bitcoin off the okay, table so now, for that. Let's just say the SEC wins this, and a lot of people think they will, given what happened with Sam Bankman Free, that there's, it's going to be hard for a judge to to basically side on the uh, you know like in crypto's favor doesn't have a rip, a ripple effect through the industry in the sense that how does that make coinbase that means coinbase that means binance all brokered unregistered securities aren't they kind of on the hook well it's going to be a huge precedential value if the sec wins because when you look at xrp it was created in 2012 it was the, the third largest cryptocurrency in the world when the SEC sued Ripple. It was traded, Charlie Cheryl, for seven and a half years in the United States and around the world openly and fairly without any interaction from the SEC. And then the SEC comes in seven and a half years later right. after it was declared convertible virtual currency by the FinCEN, right. right, and declared by FSOC as virtual currency, right. by the Government Accountability Office as a, a virtual currency utilized in a decentralized platform. After all of that, the SEC comes well, in they still, after all those years. Okay, they still have a strong hand if they win. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I thought that was very informative. And John Deaton is one of those lawyers in the XRP community that's really, really fighting for the lawsuit. If you guys made it to the end of the video, Comment 
represent in the comment section below. I appreciate you guys watching the full video. It really helps the channel a lot. And I genuinely appreciate you guys supporting the channel. It's been doing really well. So thank you guys. Have a great day. God bless you. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your families. Until next time.